basically a tune-up for Tracy Harris Patterson. He is world-rated as a junior featherweight, 122 pounds. He's got two losses, but he's moving up in the ratings, and he's fighting Carlos Vergara, who's a journeyman out of Hartford, Connecticut, took the fight on 48 hours' notice. Vergara thinks he can upset Patterson. We'll see. Should be an interesting bout. The guy that's risking things, the guy that's gambling tonight is Tracy Harris Patterson. He's a world-rated fighter. For Vergara, this is a shot at a tremendous upset. Well, he is a North American Boxing Federation junior champion. Uh, and you take a look at Tracy Patterson's record, 35 and 2, 24 KOs. Carlos Vergara, 12 and 4. This is a junior lightweight fight, though, not in the junior featherweight division. In his last fight, Tracy Patterson came through with what he considers to be his most significant win, beating Kenny Mitchell, a former WBO champion. Well, Kenny Mitchell, WBO champion. He's out of the Bronx, but has been fighting out of Houston. You see Tracy Har Tracy Patterson Harris exploding. He decks Kenny Mitchell and gives him such a beating. The referee stopping the bout in the eighth round. Tracy Patterson, the winner, and uh, against the former world champ. So it'll be Tracy Patterson going against Carlos Figuera in tonight's feature. He's been by KOs. He's 25 years of age. His two defeats, he was beaten by Jeff Franklin and Stevie Cruz, a former world champion. But the big victory, his last fight, beating Kenny Mitchell on April the 19th in the eighth round. He stopped Mitchell, the former WBO junior featherweight champion. Now, while Patterson is a junior featherweight, the North American Boxing Federation champion at 122 pounds, he fights overweight tonight at 129. It'll be a junior lightweight uh, matchup with Carlos Figueroa, who, as you pointed out, Mike, has had a problem uh, getting ready for this fight, had only two days notice. And earlier this evening, uh, Mike Marley had an opportunity to talk with Tracy Patterson. And he had an opportunity to talk also with his father, Floyd. <laughs> Sons in boxing. When the father is the manager, the son is the fighter, usually been a big problem. Why hasn't that been the case for you and Tracy? Because, well, first of all, uh, I've always taught my son not to be a follower, be a leader. Do things your way, not my way. I will, there's only one way to throw a left jab, a right hand, or a left hook. Uh, he de I've taught him how to throw the punches. He's developed his own style of executing the punches. And uh, they're very similar to mine, but there is a difference. So what I'm saying is that uh, I did not push to get him to follow in my footsteps. I want him to originate his own footsteps. Uh, and this is what he has done. So I think that's one of the reasons why we are going to have success. Humility, dignity. Those are the two words, I guess, that best personify one Floyd Patterson, whose son will step into the ring tonight. Tracy Harris Patterson against Carlos Figuera. Both fighters are in the ring. Here's Ron Floyd Scott Stevens. Patterson Associates is proud to present this 10-round feature event of the evening. It's in the junior lightweight division. The referee, Mr. Frank Adams. Fighting out of the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, and wearing all red. He came into this fight weighing 131 pounds with a record of 12 wins against four losses, five by KO. From Springfield, Connect Connecticut, let's have a warm welcome for Carlos Vergara. And fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, and he's wearing blue trunks, trimmed in white. He weighed in this morning at 129 pounds. He comes into the fight with a big record of 35 wins, two losses, 24 by KO. From New Paltz, New York, let's hear it for Tracy Harris Patterson. Patterson. And there's that, Floyd Patterson. Your instructions in earlier. You both know the rules and regulations. I want you to obey my commands at all times. When I tell you to break, I want you to take one step backwards. Shake hands now and good luck to both of you. Frank Adams, the referee. Tracy Harris Patterson, the 38th fight of his professional career. He's an amateur at 106. Well, you know, there, this is one fight that's definitely not on the boards in Las Vegas. But <laughs> Carlos Figuera. Neither was the uh, Tyson-Douglas fight. 
and Carlos Figueroa thinks he could pull an upset. I think it would be a miracle, but uh, he disagrees. So we'll see what Tracy Tracy Harris Patterson has to do now. Of course, Patterson is hoping to get a shot at the Junior Bantamweight title. The WBA title is open. Jesus Salute has been stripped of that version. The IBF champ is welcome to Cheetah of South Africa. Pretty good little boxer. And then the new WBC champ, Paul Banky. Scheduled 10 rounder. That jab in nicely, does Patterson. Well, you can tell that Vergara has been around. He comes out of Hartford, the town that produced not only the great Willie Pep, but also current uh, welterweight champ, Marlon Magic Man Bucci Starling. That was an excellent uh, right hand by uh, Tracy Harris. He gets the left in now. Not throwing that jab, that left uppercut. Patterson calls himself Little Caesar, but that's not <laughs> pizza he's delivering. Working on the body is Patterson. The old, uh, old expression, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You can tell a well-schooled fighter when you're watching Tracy Patterson. His father's taught him all the rudiments of boxing, all the techniques. Look at how sharply he punches. Look at those body those shots. Body blows. Figuera, he's getting roughed up to the body, but he tries to battle back here. Interesting thing, though, in, in Floyd's comments to you about, I taught him the punches, now it's up to him. You can't just sit on somebody and say, be me. And I think that's one of the class things about Floyd Patterson. Well, he's been smart in doing that. One of the problems with smoking Joe Frazier is, and it started with his son, Marvis, he, Joe Frazier wanted Marvis to fight like smoking Joe did. Couldn't do it. And no, Marvis was a stand-up boxer, not a bad one. Just didn't have a good chin. Less than 30 seconds remaining in this opening round, and. Tracy Harris Patterson has taken the advantage, working on the body of Carlos Figuera, the 25-year-older from Springfield, Connecticut. Look at that body. He's Figueroa. really doing a job on the midsection now, Carlos Figuera. With all these world, great world champions here, interesting to note, both Patterson and Griffith Raiders. Second round, scheduled 10 rounder in the blue trunks, Tracy Harris Patterson, the red trunks, on the right of your screen now, Carlos Figuera. Round one belong, I believe, to Mr. Patterson. Yeah, the body punching to Patterson being the difference in that opening round. But for a guy who was called in on 48-hour notice, you're going to say this for Figuera, he's not looking for a soft spot to fall down. He's in there fighting. Well, he knows it's a good opportunity for him also going up against the a semi-name fighter at this stage, like Patterson. Well, he claims a 12-4 record. He's hurt. He got hurt by Patterson with that shot. Now just trying to cover up as Patterson goes to work in the body once again, and a good right uppercut to the head. Bergera is in trouble. He's definitely Rocky Spencer, and I don't mean Rocky Marciano. He, he's, he was wobbled by those shots. And he still has about a minute 50 to try and stand in his feet in the second round. Patterson, very cool, very methodical. He knows what he has to do to finish his man off. We mentioned earlier that Floyd Patterson has become an excellent trainer. Another of the great champions here, Emil Griffith, is training the IBF welterweight champ, Simon Brown. He's also one of the better trainers in boxing now. Figuera trying to battle back, and he's unable to right now because Patterson comes right back with a series of body blows and a right to the head. Well, Tracy Patterson all over Figuera like the proverbial cheap suit. Figuera starting to cover up, and that could be a sign that uh, he may be ready to fold his tent. Blood coming from the nose of Figuera, who continues to step into punches. Well, 
Less than a minute remaining in the second round. Now, Patterson should be using that jab, even though he's been pounding away at Vergara. He is a boxer puncher, not, not the greatest puncher, a, a, a good puncher, but uh, there he is. Good left-right combination. That was a sweet one-two by Patterson. And then Vergara coming back, go figure. But there's far more sting in the punches that come from Tracy Patterson. Well, Vigar is originally from Brooklyn. Maybe that's uh, <laughs> what we should attribute his resilience to. Second round, winding down here of the scheduled 10 round. Early part of this second round, Patterson began to pile up points and put Vergara in a precarious situation. Well, it looked at, there's that right uppercut. And I... And it, that shows you Vergara's got some chin that he didn't get floored by that one. Oh, an overhand right. Another good shot by Tracy Patterson. And then the body attack. He's really been doing a job on Vergara's body and head. I don't know how much more Vergara can take as we start round oh, three. Not much more. <laughs> they didn't rule out a knockdown. It was a slip. No, it was, I think it was a slip. May have been a wake-up call for Vergara. He is fighting back, yep. though. He stepped into a right hand right there from Patterson. But he delivers a good left and right combination to Patterson's head. And some good body blows by Vergara. Well, Vergara is no world-class fighter, but he doesn't look like a tomato can. I mean, he's fighting back. His nose has been bleeding. He's taken a pounding, particularly to the body but he's still in there trying. Now Patterson going to work on the head with lefts and rights. Two minutes remaining in this third round. This one's scheduled for 10. Patterson uh, ranked number five in the world by the WBC and number eight by the IBF, so He's the man with everything to lose in this fight, except his NABF junior featherweight title, which is not at stake. Good. There's a Double sharp with left, left hook. And it was nice the way he doubled those left. Fortunately for Figueroa, Spencer, he was backing away. Otherwise, that could have been good night. Midway through this third round, Patterson had Figueroa in big trouble right now. Big left hand and right standing eight that is a judicious use of the standing eight count by a more experienced referee frankie adams that's what a standing eight count should be for question is how much more can vergara take he's trying to fight back but has very little left well, he's got to get out of that corner or it will be the end. 50 seconds remaining in this third round. He's trying to push his way out, but he's unable to do it. Every time you count for Gare out, he comes back with something. Less than half a minute remaining in this third round. I I think there's a little blood now in Tracy Patterson's mouth, but not a factor. Vergara trying to make it out of this third round. Patterson's a good right uppercut. Patterson's a little tired. He's thrown all the punches. And it looks like Vergara will make it through this round. Just barely. Just barely. His nose is bloody as he moves back to his corner. A courageous Carlo Vergara taking a pounding from Tracy Harris Patterson. <laughs> Lloyd Patterson with son Tracy. Meanwhile, the ringside physician is examining Vergara. There's that left hook, a wicked left hook. Another second one misses. And Patterson.
it teeing off. Another left hook, and then a right. Excellent combination. There's that standing eight count, wisely called by referee Frankie Adams. And the ringside doctor, I think, may let it continue. Second out. It looks as though Figuera's going to be given another round. Francisco Zayas is his manager trainer. Carlos Figuera, 25 years of age, has four children. And he's made it into the fourth round. Will he make it out of the fourth round? Good left hook once again by Patterson. Figuera still can throw a bit of a punch. Well, he's counter-punching, uh, sometimes off the rope, sometimes not, but, uh, and he's got blood coming from the nostrils, but he's still in there trying. He's overmatched. Took a good, hard right uppercut that time, right off the chin, and you mentioned his chin. It is indeed a strong one. He's a club fighter. Tracy Patterson is a world-class fighter. But Vergara, you got to give him an E for effort. A lot of other guys would have folded the tent, folded a night. It would be simple. Vergara not taking the easy way out. Patterson showing good punching ability and very good patience. Cut right to the chin of Carlos Figueroa. Well, that was a good call by the referee, Frankie Adams. I think Figueroa was going to get up and beat the count, but Adams did the wise thing in stopping the fight. I don't think anybody can complain. Least of all, Carlos Figueroa, who gave it his all. Tracy Patterson. Figueroa was up. Six victory. Figueroa was outclassed, but you can see he was outclassed, but he's all hard. It's a be tough right kid from Connecticut by way of Brooklyn, Carlos Figueroa. Oh, there's that right uppercut. A, a right hand, oh, a left uppercut, a right hand, and it's no mas for Carlos Figueroa. But a justifiable no mas. Figueroa goes down, Frank Adams stops it, that right uppercut followed by the left, and then another right, and it was all over, but it was the right. That really started it off. Carlos Figuera is being seated down on the stool. Has a smile on his face as the champ Floyd Patterson looks over at him. That was a good game effort, not to uh, repeat myself, but uh, you got to give the kid credit. Carlos Figuera, 25 years old, Brooklyn, uh, now fighting out of Connecticut. He, he gave, you know, he fought. Uh, this kid's not making a uh, seven-figure purse here tonight. But he gave a $100,000 effort. He tried with all his heart. He had won the first six bouts of his career. He's now 12 and five. Floyd Patterson and Tracy Patterson. For Tracy Patterson, victory number 36 in his career. The 25th knockout of his career. And it was just methodical. It was done in very good fashion by Tracy Patterson. Yeah, yeah, Tracy. Number one. Number one. Now, well, Figuera is still seated. Very wise to just keep him in that position at this particular point. And let's get the official decision from Ron Scott Adams. Referee Frank Adams stops this contest at 125 of the fourth round. The winner by technical knockout for his 36th win. Let's have a... Big hand for Tracy Harris Patterson. Patterson. And a good hand for Vergara. Good fight. Mike Marley stepping up into the ring. We'll Tough take fight. a break right here. When we get back, Mike Marley will talk with the victorious Tracy Harris Patterson as Friday night at the fights continues from Canastota, New York. Back here in Canastota, New York, there's the victorious, victorious Tracy Harris Patterson in the ring with Mike Marley. Michael? 
in the ring with a happy winner, Tracy Patterson. Tracy Harris Patterson. Tracy, you protected your world ranking. Was this just a good workout for you? This was a tough opponent in the sense that while not a world-class fighter, he hung in there. Yeah, he was game, and he's the type of guy that you got to get in there with to keep your sharpness. You know, you can't get in there with guys that's going to get in there and lay down on you. You got to get some work out of these guys. Okay, so a good, a good workout for you. What's ahead for you, Tracy? You're looking for a shot at one of the 122-pound world champions? Well, we've been trying now for a couple of months to get uh, one of the champions. At first, we wanted uh, Daniel Zaragoza, but he turned us down. And uh, we tried just a couple of months ago to get Paul Banky. He turned us down. So uh, I'm hoping that I can get that number one uh, ranking, and they won't have a choice. Okay. Tracy, I think we're going to look at uh, some of the damage you did to Carlos Figuera on a replay, or perhaps we're not. Uh, there we go. Please uh, let the viewers know what's happening here. You, you went to the body. That was an uppercut. Right. Describe right here, action. Right here, I'm, I'm getting him to relax a little bit on the inside. And uh, when I get him to relax, I'm either going to drop a few shots to the body or come right up the middle with some good uppercuts. Well, that was an excellent overhand right. Now, did you think he would get up? Well, or did you notice that the referee was stopping it? Well, I seen the referee stop it right away when he went down. He could see that the guy was in trouble, and he felt that he had enough, and he did the right thing by stopping it. Well, you're right. congratulations. You're on quite a roll, a victory over the former WBO champ, Kenny Mitchell, out of the Bronx, New York, and now a knockout over Carlos Vergara. So uh, I guess world championship uh, challenge has got to be the next thing. That's right. I'm ready to challenge. You know, uh, if Paul Banky's out there listening, let's get it on. Or welcome to Cheetah. The champ, welcome to Cheetah, the champ from South Africa, the IBF champ. Doesn't matter to you, does it? Right, it doesn't matter, but I'm not going to go to South Africa. <laughs> okay, we can understand that. But you're looking for a shot of the world title belt. Again, congratulations to Tracy Harris-Patterson. Now back to Spencer Ross at ringside. Okay, Mike.